from Hongdae, I got ready to go to Myeongdong and we are going to have dinner and hopefully some Korean barbecue because I haven't had Korean barbecue yet. I know, this is shocking. I must say, I feel really much, much better now um, now that I have cancelled EF. I should really have booked two weeks EF and not three but I must also say when I first got my you know consultation done with EF I did not feel like this was a very good service if I would have a language school I would really look at the client and what the client wants I must say EF Soul is very cool and if you're also like k-pop fan and you need people to go to concerts or whatever i think for you all ef soul will be great i actually want to come here and have fun and go to a school to learn some basic korean to get around and i choose uh, i choose the general course but honestly i did not know that that there was also a basic course i did not know that and i'm not the only one actually Many people from other countries did not know that. Um, yeah, I just wanted to come here um, and I thought I'm going to have like school for half a day and then go out, explore Seoul and that, yeah, and that's how it's going to be. But the school time here, it was very strange. Um, on Fridays, I had a whole day of school and basically every day the school starts at 4 p.m. until 7 p.m. and th that's a very for me personally it's a incon inconvenient time to have school it will be much better to have school in the morning just the three to four hours and then it's done and then you can go and explore um yeah that was one thing and i also heard from people who are doing the intensive course that they had just like 10 minutes of lunch break and stuff like that and also sometimes classes um, are mixed with people from different levels so it can be quite frustrating for people in the beginner level but that's me, I mean that's my experience I'm also much older than the usual um, attendee of EF Seoul um, because many people in my class were like minors, they're like 16 years old or in their very early 20s. I always wanted to have this experience and now I have it and this I crossed from my um, bucket list and now it's done. And in every country the residence is really like an EF house, I think. And in Seoul it's actually a hotel and just like two floors are reserved for EF. So now I'm going to Myeongdong. Um, I think I should hurry. So yeah, see you there, bye. It's uh, raining a lot and I forgot my umbrella. <laughs> I'm scared. I'm scared. So this is some late night snack. Oh my gosh, I really need to work on my diet when I'm back home. <laughs> but yeah, now I'm really hungry, so yes. Good night. Hi guys, it's 
Thursday already. Oh my god, I just have Thursday, Friday, Saturday and on Sunday I'm already leaving. Today I am going again to the Bukchon village. Um, as you already know, I visited the Bukchon village already on Saturday. I was by myself but it was very hot and I had a very bad headache and I could not really enjoy that day and today I'm going with Jackie I'm sure it's going to be a better day today and uh, also to take some pictures and stuff like that and then I would love to visit the Soul Forest and also going to the Future Self Cafe I mean it's like it's a cafe where you can write a letter to your future self um, this cafe has actually a name well I forgot it <laughs> But yeah, the thing is, you can go there and write yourself a letter and even choose the date when the letter should be sent out. Uh, I actually wanted to do that on my last day or... yeah, but you know, I experienced how cafes are on Saturdays and Sundays and let me tell you, the cafes are full and even the lines, oh my god, this is seriously crazy. Um, South Koreans are really determined to go into a cafe they like. <laughs> um, it's crazy. They wait hours and hours. No, not hours. I'm um, being a drama queen right now, but the line is so long on a weekend that I'm, I don't want to do that on my last day here. So yeah, probably today is the best day to do that and in the evening i'm going to meet my cousin she's visiting from denmark she actually also planned to come here with her friend and yeah it's uh, so fun that we are here at the same time so we are going to meet and probably eat k barbecue it's already lunch time i stayed up yesterday until 2 a.m and yeah now i wasted my morning but it is what it is, I mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I really wanted to tell you that. As you know, I cancelled EF, so I had to search for another hotel. And I, s I just searched for a hotel. I was like, I don't care, I just wanna go out of EF that I have time to explore so by myself. And I just found a hotel which had a discount and everything, and I was like, great, perfect, let's book it. And then after I came here, I realized that the Guanshan market, if I pronounce it correctly, <laughs> is just about 500 meters away from my hotel. And I'm like, I love the universe. Seriously, this market is one of my favorite places here in Seoul because it's just so easy to go there, try trying out different food and I really love the vibes there. And um, yeah, and it's just crazy that it's just now nearby my new hotel. Um, yeah, I'm really uh, spiritual and <laughs> for me stuff like that is like a sign that I made the right decision. And this for me is definitely a sign. So let's go. Tour groups coming here like every two minutes. 
so it's really hard to take good pictures, but we made it! <laughs> I'm glad that I came here again today with you. I really love that you can charge your phone at the subway station. 